YouTube family, welcome again to my YouTube channel. And on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I make my own seafood okra. Uh, for I think for about two weeks now, I've been craving for seafood okra, but today I'm finally less busy, so I decided to make mine, and I'm going to show you guys how I make it. Um, different people with different recipes, there yeah, are different ways people make theirs, but this is how I make mine and enjoy it. So, these are my okay, these are my recipes for my seafood okra. This is croaker fish. Um, this, these are crabs. This croaker fish and crabs, they are already thoroughly washed. I mean thoroughly washed. This is a blend of um, red ball pepper, crayfish, and onion. A blend of red ball pepper, crayfish, and onion. I don't like mine to be very smooth, so I just blended it this way. Then this is my grated okra. Then this is sliced okra. I like using both. Then this is the red ball pepper. In case of, of those that don't know what red ball pepper is, you, you know sometimes we confuse it for the other kind of pepper. So this is the red ball pepper that I blended with my onion and crayfish as I showed you guys earlier. Then this is my lobsters, my big prawns. These, these are called ungolo. These are Nails, my palm, my palm oil, and my mangi cubes. Okay, here I already added my palm oil into my pot. As you all can see, my palm oil is already inside my, my pot. Um, I'm just going to allow allow it to heat a bit, just a tiny bit. Okay, then I'm going to add my my um, red ball pepper, onion, and crayfish blend. I like my seafood okra to be really, really peppery. I want it to be really, really peppery. So we are going to allow this to heat for for some minutes. So I'm going to allow this to heat for like say 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, now it's time to add my snails, my already washed snails. My already washed snails. My already washed snails. My this is my croaker fish and the crabs. I'm going to be adding this. My prawns. My big prawns. And lastly, my ngolo. The sight of this is already looking yummy. <laughs> sight of this is already looking yummy. Okay, I'll see. Okay, then I'm adding my seasoning cube. And I'm going to be adding just little water, just little water. Okay, I'm going to allow this to cook for say and um, just five minutes. To allow it to cook for just five minutes. Okay guys, now it's time to add my, my grated okra, my 
my grated okra. We are still going to leave this for 10 minutes. We are still going to leave this for 10 minutes to get properly done. Okay. And lastly, guys, I'm adding my chopped or sliced apple. I'm not going to allow this to get very done. I like it crunchy, to have this crunchy feeling in my mouth. So this is my sliced. Then I'm going to add my salt. Okay guys, I'm just going to allow this get done for just say three to five minutes because I like my uncle my okra really crunchy. My seafood okra is finally ready. It's finally ready. You can see the crabs. <laughs> I'm going to be eating this now because I've craved for it for a long while. See my Okay guys, this is how my seafood okra came out, looking all delicious. You can eat this with a large bowl of pando yam or santana, but I love mine with santana. Yes, yeah, so I love mine with santana. So guys, tell me what you think about this seafood okra and when you make yours, just please drop your comment on the comments section. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please do subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell. Have a nice day guys. Bye.